Having another look here at the Cassia artemisioides. Pretty flowers. That's what they look like for people who want to know what Cassia artemisioides look like, the flowers. Come on. Up close to the camera, show yourself. That's what the leaves look like, silver. Just like wormwood or something. There are the Cassia artemisioides flowers. They do have a bit of a fragrance. Oops. Just looking at them anyway. There's the silhouette. The silhouette of Cassia artemisioides. You can see it's a nice small bush. Yeah. It's a nice small bush, just a small bush, not a huge bush. But it's a nice bush anyway, it is. Very drought resistant, once established. Native Australian species. There are the flowers. Very pretty. It's winter time, they bloom in winter. It's nice to have something that blooms in winter apart from wattle. Just looking at Cassia artemisioides to recognise it when we see it. It's a bit more over there. Pretty little thing. And we'll have another close up of the flowers. I guess it's called Artemisioides because it looks a bit like Artemisia, doesn't it? Wormwoods. It does look a bit wormwoodish. A little bit. Let's have a look. Looking at the flowers. Can we focus on them? Can we focus on them? There they are. There's the flowers up close. Like a tiny little bean affair forming. They're a member of the bean family and they form pods like cassia and senna and everything. Look at them, aren't they lovely? Cassia artemisioides. Let's have a look at another branch. Oops, up close. That's the butcher bird, isn't it? Anyway, there's Cassia artemisioides up close. Beautiful plant, Australian native, very drought resistant. And the leaves are a bit Artemisia-like. See you for now then.